Just minutes ago, the Chicago City Council voted to allocate another $70 million for the city's migrants. Asking y'all to use our tax money for our people. We need it. The $40 million that it's costing the city of Chicago every single month to provide care. This really will be the last time the city will come to them and ask for more migrant money this year. My administration um, has responded to this humanitarian mission with the full force of government. Taxpayer backlash. The controversy surrounding Mayor Brandon Johnson's allocation of tax dollars for illegal immigrants in Chicago has ignited a firestorm of criticism and opposition from outraged residents. Against the backdrop of a proposed $70 million budget increase to bolster sanctuary city resources, residents like P. Ray Easley have spoken out vehemently against what they perceive as a misuse of taxpayer funds and a betrayal of the city's residents. Chicago City Council is expected to vote on a seven to uh, $70 million request to help handle the sanctuary city. The first $51 million that this council gave to the migrants came from the opioid settlement fund. The goal, again, is to get our people away from this culture of liberal failure that's currently bankrupting our city and leaving the Americans behind. Openly give our money to people who don't deserve it is very insulting. We need that money in my neighborhood. We need that on my block. In a passionate rebuke aired on Fox & Friends, Easley expressed her outrage at Mayor Johnson's decision to redirect tax dollars towards addressing the migrant crisis. Describing it as the most disrespectful thing we've ever encountered, she highlighted the frustration and anger felt by Chicago residents who have diligently paid property taxes for generations. The perceived injustice of using their hard-earned money to support individuals who entered the country illegally has galvanized opposition against the mayor and his progressive agenda. Easley's sentiments resonate with a broader sentiment among Chicago residents who feel marginalized and neglected by their city's leadership. The decision to allocate additional funds for sanctuary city initiatives has steered deep-seated resentment and united residents against what they perceive as a betrayal of their trust and a disregard for their well-being. Easley's acknowledgement of the unintended consequence of Mayor Johnson's action, namely the unification of the city's residents against his agenda, underscores the magnitude of the backlash and the depth of public dissatisfaction. The controversy has spilled over into city council meetings, where residents have turned out in force to protest the mayor's proposed budget increase. Their opposition to the allocation of taxpayer funds towards addressing the migrant crisis reflects a broader discontent with the direction of city policies and priorities. A growing petition seeking to give residents the right to recall the mayor further underscores the depth of public frustration and the desire for accountability in governance. At the heart of the controversy is Mayor Johnson's progressive stance on sanctuary city policies, which he has vigorously defended in the past. Despite Chicago having already invested $300 million in housing, food, and health care for migrants, according to city data, the mayor is pushing for additional funding to address ongoing challenges associated with immigration. Just minutes ago, the Chicago City Council voted to allocate another $70 million for the city's migrants. $70 million is to make up the remainder of the amount the city, state, and county came up with back in February. The $40 million that it's costing the city of Chicago every single month to provide care. This $70 million is going to help us lock arms with the county and with the state together. However, critics argue that the mayor's priorities are misplaced and that taxpayer dollars should be directed towards addressing pressing issues affecting city residents rather than supporting illegal immigrants. The outcry against Mayor Johnson's proposal extends beyond financial concerns to encompass broader issues of public safety and social cohesion. Residents have expressed fears about the impact of sanctuary city policies on their communities, citing instances of violence and conflict involving migrants. Reports of clashes between police and migrants in shelters funded by taxpayer dollars have fueled anxieties about the consequences of unchecked immigration and the strain it places on local resources. 
The controversy underscores the complex and contentious nature of immigration policy in the United States, particularly in cities like Chicago that have adopted sanctuary city measures. While proponents argue that such policies uphold humanitarian principles and protect vulnerable populations, critics contend that they undermine the rule of law and exacerbate social tensions. The debate over how best to balance compassion for migrants with the needs and concerns of local residents remains a central point of contention in the ongoing discourse surrounding immigration policy. Chicago Residents Oppose Allocation the proposed allocation of $70 million, subject to approval by the full city council, has sparked controversy and condemnation from Chicago residents like P. Ray Easley, who are outraged by the decision to draw funds from the city's assigned fund balance. According to budget director Annette Guzman, the funds would be sourced from the city's assigned fund balance from 2022, as reported by the Chicago Sun-Times. This revelation has intensified concerns about fiscal responsibility and the allocation of taxpayer dollars, particularly in light of the city's ongoing struggles to provide funding for essential services like education. Easley's critic of city leaders' decision to entertain the allocation resonates with a broader sentiment among Chicago residents who feel neglected and marginalized by their city's leadership. She describes the allocation as extremely insulting, particularly in light of previous claims by city officials that there were budgetary constraints preventing the funding of essential services. The City Council Budget Committee approved 70 million additional dollars to be spent on Chicago's migrant mission. And we have provided education, health care for these families. We got child care for you. We got all kind of housing. We got education for you. My administration um, has responded to this humanitarian mission with the full force of government. The invocation of former President Donald Trump as a potential solution to Chicago's challenges underscores the depth of frustration and desperation felt by residents grappling with issues like crime, drug trafficking, and immigration. Easley's call for Trump's return to office is rooted in the belief that his administration's policies, particularly those aimed at securing the southern border, offer a viable solution to the problems facing the city. The reference to Trump's proposed border security measures as a means to stem the tide of human and drug trafficking reflects the concerns about public safety and the impact of illegal immigration on local communities. Easley's plea for Trump to come see us in Chicago reflects a broader desire for attention and assistance from federal authorities in addressing the city's myriad challenges. It underscores the perception among residents that local leaders have failed to effectively address issues like crime and poverty and that federal intervention may be necessary to enact meaningful change. The symbolic appeal to Trump as a figure of authority and leadership highlights the extent to which residents feel abandoned and ignored by their elected officials. The controversy surrounding the proposed allocation of $70 million underscores broader issues of governance, accountability, and public trust in Chicago's political leadership. It raises important questions about the priorities and values that guide fiscal decision-making processes and the extent to which residents' voices are heard and respected in the political arena. The convergence of fiscal concerns, political discontent, and public safety challenges underscores the complexity of the issues facing the city and the need for thoughtful and responsive leadership to address them effectively. Chicago Allocates Funds Controversially The 3018 vote in favor of Mayor Brandon Johnson's request for more funds for the city's migrant crisis followed over an hour of heated discussion, revealing deep-seated disagreements among council members about the allocation of taxpayer dollars. The approved funding includes $48 million in grant money from the state and federal government, earmarked primarily to cover outstanding debt for staffing and shelter costs. 
Despite political divisions within the council, Budget Committee Chair Alderman Jason Irvin emphasized the importance of meeting the needs of newly arrived asylum seekers in Chicago, framing the decision as a necessary obligation to address humanitarian concerns. However, the decision to allocate additional funds has faced criticism from several council members who questioned the city's priorities and fiscal responsibility. Alderman Michael Rodriguez highlighted the challenges of balancing the budget amidst competing demands for resources, while Alderman James Gardner expressed concern about the potential for further requests for funding in the future. These concerns reflect broader anxieties about the sustainability of current spending levels and the potential consequences for the city's financial stability. Now to Chicago's migrant crisis, Mayor Brandon Johnson went to Washington asking for federal help and money. A legal migrant crisis. The vote was pushed back after residents called out Mayor Brandon Johnson on Wednesday. This really will be the last time the city will come to them and ask for more migrant money this year. And our ability to balance our budget in 2026 and subsequently 2027. Alderman Byron Sigcho Lopez suggested that opposition to additional funding was rooted in bigotry and ignorance, prompting a rebuke from Alderman Scott Wigsback, who called for an end to divisive rhetoric and personal attacks. The heated exchanges underscored the deep-seated tensions and ideological divisions within the council, which have complicated efforts to find consensus on the issue. Amidst the debate, Alderman Andre Vasquez raised concerns about the political motivations behind the allocation of funds, suggesting that Texas Governor Greg Abbott's decision to send migrants to Chicago may be intended to sow division and disrupt the city's operations. This perspective highlights the broader political dynamics at play and the challenges of navigating complex relationships between local, state, and federal authorities in addressing the migrant crisis. Despite the disagreements and controversies surrounding the funding decision, several council members emphasized the importance of providing support and assistance to asylum seekers in need. Alderman Daniel Laspata emphasized the moral imperative of extending aid to migrants, challenging assertions that they do not contribute to society through taxes. Similarly, Alderman Jesse Fuentes underscored the humanitarian urgency of the situation, pointing to the thousands of children in the city's shelter system who depend on its support for their well-being. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.